Hi, this is David Vallade, a proud Sage Intact partner with AltaVista Technology. You've probably seen a lot of videos about the Interactive Visual Explorer, but today I was going to show something related to that product with a little different angle. I wanted to show how fast it is to make a report. My goal for this report is to make it in under five minutes. So let's get to work. So here's the mission. Here's the report that I want to make. Let's say I want to show the top 15 customers. Okay. And I want to be able to visualize those customers by the type of customer they are. What industry are they in, for example? And I also want to be able to allow my user to filter by that customer type and also by the year. All right. So that's really, as I count it, four things. I need to know the customer. I need to know their type. I need to know the year and, of course, the dollars. I'm going to go into my system and I'm going to hit the little plus on the interactive visual explorer. And let's start the timer now. I'm going to go make a brand new report. I could cheat by taking an existing one, but let's start from scratch. And I'm going to see all the different areas here. I'm reporting on sales. So I'm going to pick my AR invoices, give it a name here. So interactive visual explorer sales are top 15 customers. Okay. Let's create that board. All right, now I said I needed uh, four things. Everything's organized in these nice folders. So for example, I said the year, that was the thing I wanted. If I expand the attributes, I can see anything that is an attribute of the invoice, including the time-related attributes, all grouped together for me. And I can see the year. All right, so we'll just drag that up here. This is what it's like to make a report. I get a little preview of the data. Here I have these three years in this uh, demo company, and I'll pin that there. Uh, your data would be different, of course. So that's the first thing of the four little bits I need. I needed the year and I got it. Also, I have dimensions. Dimensions are a whole topic unto themselves. We have such great dimensions inside of the system and customer is one of those dimensions. So take a look at this. When I expand the customers, I can see all this stuff related to the customers. So much stuff, uh, so many fields, really anything, even custom fields if I add. I can spot, there's my customer name. That's something I wanted. I'm going to take that, I'm going to drag that over here, and I'm that much closer to my report. And I see the customer type that's there. So I said I wanted my user to be able to filter on that. So when I add it to my filter area, you can see it gives me a little preview of that as well. Now, I also, in my mission here, I said I wanted to be able to visualize that. Well, that's what my color is here. So I'm going to drag that same field over to the color. So that way I can color code my data once I have it to uh, be color coded um, showing the uh, customer type as well. We're so close. The last thing I need here is a measure, which is basically a number. And those are grouped nice and great here. I can see my transaction amount. So watch what happens when I drag that in. So note our timer. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm pretty close to being done. I have all of my customers. I have my customer types at the bottom. I can see everything laid out really well. I have filters at the top. So my users will be able to break things down as they see fit. But uh, I didn't actually hit my mission yet. A couple things I need to do. I still need to, um, I'm showing all the customers here and I need to do the top 15. But let's get there. We have time to spare. So I'm going to show this as a horizontal bar. That's just my preference. I'd rather that be sorted. So I'm going to sort that uh, high to low, I think. And then the all important last step of my mission was to get everything uh, filtered. I said I had the top 15. So I'll drag that amount down here into the filters area. Now, by default, the system wants to have a starting range and an ending range, so I could filter it that way. But that's not what I had. I wanted the top 15. Well, fortunately, there is a filter type to say the top or bottom n number of uh, records. So I will say the top 15. And there we go. I have the top 15. And one last thing, just to, for cosmetic things, I'm going to... Uh, there's this area with width here. I kind of want to have my bigger dollars have a little bit broader strokes here. We did it. Mark the time. I'll collapse some of these little bits and let's see what we have here. I have my top 15 customers. I can see everything sorted out that way. I can see the healthcare, manufacturing, insurance, and finance. Those are the types that I set up in this demo environment. And I can see everything organized by that. And now I could uh, save this to a dashboard, publish this out to the system, and my users could come in and they could say, I want to see what my finance customers look like. 
and now they'll see their top finance customers. Or they can filter this to say finance and healthcare. Let me take a look at those. I don't have to anticipate the report that they're going to want. I can give them a starting point and let them interact with it. Very short video today. That's all we wanted to cover, just how fast it is to make a report. If you have more questions about Interactive Visual Explorer, follow the links in the video. Happy reporting.